Oh, this is going to be fun. Look at all these freaking people. It's a Friday night in Brooklyn. You know what? I am gonna lane split. It just seems like the right thing to do at this point. All right, so what is going on, Moto Freaks? This is your boy, Moto Noir, and I'm making moves making some moves there's a funky apple store check that bad boy out Then. So what's going on guys? Hope your eyes are doing well. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing stupendous. I hope you're doing fantastic. Me? I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. Can't complain. This is my first ride in a while. Um, it has been rather shitty outside. The weather's been really poor. We got snowstorm after snowstorm. Not major snowstorms, you know, just just a run of the mill uh, random snowstorms. But it's been very cold as well. So the roads have been really kind of icy and rather dangerous. And I don't want to ride when it's dangerous. So I pretty much took the subway all week. So I've been chomping at the bit to get on the bike. And then my buddy, Ducati NYC, sent me a message just a few minutes ago. I was like, Brosif, come on over. Let's have some burr. And I was like, yeah, son, let's do that. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to go chill at his place for a while. We're going to hang out, chillax, as the kids like to say. Oh boy, oh boy. It is so difficult to drive. It is so difficult to make decisions. Well, actually it is difficult over here because uh, oh, the construction. Pardon me, excuse me. Very important things to do. And all of my stuff that I need to do trumps your stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> and here we are. Gonna get on the uh, Brooklyn Queens Expressway, better known as the BQE, where the speed limit is a whopping 45 miles an hour. If you don't believe me, you can check out that sign right there. 45 miles an hour on an expressway. Growing up in Texas, expressways were like 75 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit different. A bit different. But what are you gonna do, you know? What are you gonna do? Oh, so the bike has been sitting for a while and uh, you know, it has not been happy with that. I have not been happy with that. I have not been happy taking the subway every day. Although I have uh, caught up on a lot of my favorite uh, podcasts. You know, to a lot of people's surprise, I don't listen to a lot of uh, motorcycling specific podcasts. I actually listen to um, some rather crazy podcasts. I really, I'm a huge fan of the last podcast on the left. Uh, it is a podcast that kind of makes fun of, and or not makes fun of, but like uh, explores in a comedic sort of way all the things that go bump in the night. 
So things like serial killers and um, uh, ghosts and goblins, even the Illuminati and aliens and all sorts of fun stuff. So those that know me, this does not surprise them whatsoever. Because I kind of have a, uh, a darker personality, if you will. And I like listening to those guys because they are, uh, it, it feels like a kinship. It feels like a, um, they are a part of my guild, if you will. Ah, I gotta, I gotta do some moves. I can't stick behind these guys. It just wouldn't be right. Gotta keep my eyes peeled for, uh, for the Poe. They got the, uh, the unmarked cars and whatnot. They would love to catch me. They've been looking for me. I know they have. Those po po. And here's my exit. Easy enough. Easy enough. Oh boy. Okay. I am wickedly afraid of ice. When I rode the scooter, it was. I would hit a patch of ice and the wheels would just go nuts on that thing. So I am quite careful when it comes to riding with uh, in the cold weather, especially like, like now when it's freezing and the roads are a little bit slick. So she hit wet spots like this. You're welcome. She's luckily I'm a friendly guy and that there was no cars behind me or else I would have made a, a maneuver freaked her out. Instead, you know, instead I was a nice guy. Anyways, kids, I am not going to show you where th my buddy lives, so peace out. Get gone. Bye-bye. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for doing all the... Okay. You have a great one.